So we just got ourselves a bit of play money and it's towards the end of the month for September and that can only mean one thing. And that is some used price performance goodness, so strap on in. But before we even strap on in, there's one deal that's come up that requires immediate attention. X99 5820K, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, X99 motherboard, really good power supply and a GTX 770. Now the GTX 7070 is probably the worst thing in this build. Everything else is cream of the crop. So we've got to get on this before someone else does. And we just got back from picking this up. Now I spoke to uh, Wes who I picked it up off and he said that there were so many people messaging him about this. And so initially I dropped in a 600 Aussie dollar offer and he just said, no, there's someone picking it up literally tomorrow, but first come first serve with it. And of course having 32 gigabytes of DDR4 on a build itself screams value. Uh, not to mention it's got the six core 12 thread of 5820K, X99 motherboard, Pretty solid power supply as well. Not the best, but certainly far from the worst. And then it's got a solid SSD, so 240 gigabyte SSD as well. So really good value. I haven't seen one of these in a while. The old school uh, LED Zalman coolers, I think they are. And that'll be interesting to see uh, how well they perform. But the idea behind this, of course, is clean it up. I'd probably be putting it in a new case and maybe use this for something on the lower end. Uh, it doesn't look that aesthetically pleasing. Uh, of course, the cable management's a bit of a jungle sandwich, um, but still better than the Verge. But ultimately, there's a lot of value in that build, uh, even the GTX 770, which isn't that desirable. We could still probably flip that individually and bring down the cost of the builds. But right now, we're gonna actually go through some more deals, see what we can find, because I didn't have any other time to check out anything else. When a hot deal comes up, you've got to pounce on it. So we've been pulling up a heap of deals now, and this is actually the next day because I've been looking for some deals yesterday, and things are kind of drying out a little bit. There's nothing really good up for sale. Uh, I did find a 970 that I put 150 Aussie down on, but the guy wants 200, pretty much firm. So we'll give that a miss. Uh, there's another 970 up for sale, and there's a few other cards up for sale that aren't really that good value for money. Uh, there is this though, this is pretty interesting, an Alienware X51R3 desktop machine. Now it's got an i7-6700, 16 gigabytes of RAM. The specs look really good, but the case itself is really small form factor. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research and see if you can fit a small graphics card in this machine, for instance, like a 1050 Ti, because if you can, then that will really raise the price of this build. You could even maybe swap out an i5-6400 and that will keep the value roughly the same for the build itself, but then you'll have a 6700 in your kitty. Uh, there's also the next deal up here we have as well. I've been negotiating with these monitors and there's four of them for sale for $4 each. Now they're 20 inch monitors and they're apparently VA panels. So I'm gonna go pick them all up because that definitely adds to the value if you're selling something on the real low end, for instance, even a three or $400 PC. Monitors like that will really give uh, the value a boost and especially at four dollars i mean there's nothing really to lose here uh, other deals include some hanj g monitors i remember these from back in the day surprised to see them up for sale 27 inch uh, 16 by 10 and they want around 130 aussie per pop but i'm not too sure i might go pick up one and just check out what this monitor was about bit of a nostalgic purchase if so So we're now on day three, and this is probably the first time I think I've ever done the used PC parts hunt during weekdays, but some good news has come about, and that is some of the monitors that I was inquiring about, the guy got back to me today, said I can come around later and pick up three of them for $4 a pop. So looking forward to seeing how that goes, because this will be the cheapest monitor I've ever picked up in my life, and I just hope it works. Uh, but some other really good news is I've given Les a call and he's got some Lesalicious deals for us. So we're gonna go up now and go see him and hopefully clean him out if he's got some really good deals. But on a side note, Gumtree really is a drought at the moment. There's no real good deals up there. And I think anything that's good that comes up will get snatched up straight away. The Alienware PC is a little bit of a gamble in my opinion. 
Uh, they want 520 for it. I just said, come back and said no, 500 flat, and we got a deal. So I'll see how that goes as well. But let's go check out what Les has got for us. So we just got back from Les's and he did us some really good deals. We've got two i7 rigs here with 2600s in the mega gigabytes of RAM, hard drive, all that jazz. We've also got an i3 system as well. Uh, i3 2220, eight gigabytes of RAM hard drive. I think we picked this up for 85 AUD a pop and these two for about 150 AUD each. So really good bargains. Uh, since I brought King of the Coast along as well and he bought a lot of stuff, uh, Les decided to throw in a power supply for absolutely nothing, which is a 700 watt. That's really good. But actually my favorite part of the deal is right here besides these rigs. And this is three HP monitors. They're IPS panels, 1080p, 23 inch displays. We picked these up for 50 AUD a pop. And I've got a nice feeling seeing all these three monitors just all beside each other. How about a budget triple surround setup? Since I was gonna do a World of Warcraft PC, but I figured Instead of just doing this World of Warcraft PC with sort of like uh, value for money new parts, but also maybe a hustle GTX 1070 Ti and see what kind of uh, build we can create. So stay tuned for that. I'm really looking forward to that because maybe this is a new meta. If you can get a budget triple surround setup, especially for next to nothing, then why not if the deals are there? But since we got stuck in a lot of traffic going up to Brisbane, I just think we picked a bad time, which is close to peak time in Australia. That's kind of like nowadays, like three to 5 p.m. We got stuck in traffic a long time, so I had to hold back the guy selling the $4 monitors. So we're gonna go pick that up now, even though it's around about 7 p.m. So we're gonna go pick those up now and see what kind of value we can extract out of that. And then we'll come back and have a look more in depth at these parts. So I just got back from picking up those monitors and he actually had five on hand. His name was Chris and he was a really nice guy. We had a chat about uh, just some things he was into filming a little bit. And it's really good just going out and meeting people. Uh, but he had five of these HP monitors and I decided to put them in my garage for now because they had no monitor stands. And he said he had a couple of stands for them, but they were just like completely the wrong fit. Uh, so they do have VESA mounts on them. It's just, I'm going to have to leave them there until I find some uh, actual, if I come across some bargains on monitor stands, for example, then I'll definitely pick those up because in the meantime, it'll just take up room in the, because in the meantime, otherwise it'll just take up room in the studio and I'll just be sitting at them being like, okay, reminder of how I've got to get monitor stands. But uh, Les, for example, he had some wall mount monitor stands that he wanted to chuck in, but I don't think anyone would be too keen to wall mount a HP uh, 2008 monitor in 2018. But other than that, for some reason, I'm still a little bit hungry for deals. Even though I've got some awesome deals already, we're gonna take a look at Gumtree because I haven't really got much out of Gumtree this month. I've got a 5820K machine that I paid asking price for, and then I got a really good deal on these monitors, which is still not the core of what we're looking for. So I took an extended peruse through Gumtree just then, and there is some okay deals. One deal that popped up was an RX 570 Expedition from Zeus, and this was going for about 160 Aussie, and the guy said he wanted to get rid of it pretty quickly, but that's a really good deal at that price point. Uh, there were some other deals that were really questionable. Someone was trying to sell, I think, an R7 260X for $150. <laughs> there was a broken GTX 760, being sold for like $60 and then someone was trying to get $3,000 for uh, 384 gigabytes of GDR3 ECC registered. And I'm not sure that how that works because I thought ECC registered usually, especially on DDR3, meant to be cheaper than unbuffered non-ECC. And I know you can pick up brand new DDR3 modules, the same speeds, which is the normal stuff and that's going for 
yeah, cheaper than that price. And so Gumtree at the moment is really, especially where I live, is becoming a vulture pit. And I think that's the best way to describe it because uh, that 5820K deal, for example, I had to pay asking price for that when the guy clearly said in the ad he was open to offers. So I'm guessing from that 750, he would have taken 600 in a usual year, maybe 2016 era. Uh, but 2017, yeah, more people coming on board. Now, 2018 is just saturated. So uh, we're going to try and pick up deals here and there. But I guess from Gumtree itself, I'm kind of going to start shying away from it. I will uh, look for deals here and there. But like when it comes to getting raw deals, I'll be going to contacts now that I've started to establish and just uh, start to deal with them directly. Because yeah, some of these deals just aren't even deals anymore if, if so many people are trying to snatch them up at asking price. And then that's going to, especially if what their intentions are to do with that PC, they're not gonna really be getting that good of value if they wanna build a gaming PC for their friend or whatever they wanna do because used parts still have the risk of things not working. Uh, for instance, in the past, when I bought a um, 6700 rig, there was 32 gigabytes of RAM in it, but one of the 16 gigabyte modules ended up soon being faulty. And so that was pretty much a big crux of that deal was now worthless. And it's not like I'm going to go claim a faulty 16 gigabyte stick off the guy who sold it to me for a decent price already. That's how the used market works. But other than that, if someone's near that RX 570, it's a little bit far from me, definitely go snatch that up. There was also in the Can Yes Fix It episode, there was the Mumbo Jumbotron power supply. I'd never seen one of these before when that came in front of me. And now one's up for sale local to me. And it's funny because here comes another one up. I think it's a CP850 watt. This thing's like a bigger than usual power supply. And it was just funny to see it up for sale again. But there was another thing too that came up and that was someone had an ad and they were selling an Intel stock cooler for $10 and it said sold. And I'm just sitting here scratching my head. I mean, if there's any guys on the Gold Coast who want to pay $10 for Intel stock coolers, hit me up. I'll sell them to you for $10 a pop. Uh, I mean, I just picked up this little cooler here off AliExpress. This is a $3 cooler, even comes with an LED fan. So we're gonna be giving this a dedicated video because you guys have said you wanna see more uh, bargain choices from AliExpress and see how they go. So I think $3 for a cooler is definitely coming in in terms of bang for buck. So I look forward to giving that video to you guys and seeing if it can handle an i7, because I actually know that it can handle an i5 already, but if it can handle the i7, that's gonna be fascinating. So to cap up this month's deal so far, we've got this case right here with the 5820K X99 in it. I might pull out 16 gigabytes of DDR4 and keep that for a later project, but I'm kinda not digging this case at all. So it's not really the best looker when it comes to looks. Uh, so I might repurpose it and maybe spray paint that cooler inside white. And since we've already got this sort of black and white themed graphics card, I may uh, even pull out something like a Focus G uh, white version with the two white LED fans, which is a pretty good case, especially for the money and maybe make something special out of this whole rig and see what we can come up with. And then here on the desk, we've got the hookup for these two i7 rigs and also this Think Center here with the i3 and these three monitors. Man, I don't know why. I'm just so excited about these three monitors here. I don't know if that's a weird thing or not, but <laughs> this is sort of like my favorite deal out of all these deals this month. I ended ultimately not picking up those monitors as well because Les had a really good deal on the three monitors I got already. And with the Alienware PC, you're just getting really a hard drive DDR4 memory and a 6700. Uh, even then, it's not too bad a deal. I'm not sure about the motherboard and how that would go uh, with sort of different 10 series graphics cards. But I guess the case and the power supply are really not worth it at all. And we got all five monitors. So that's $4 each a monitor for 20 in total. That's a pretty good deal, but they didn't come with any monitor stands. So that's work in progress. And that's about it for this month's used part hunt. I know some people will be disappointed that the Bogan didn't come out and call anyone, but honestly, some of these deals just, they weren't really there. Usually I'm pulling up like five or 10 deals at a time and I can go through and make a few different calls. But this time around, it was like one deal at a time sort of crept up and I only got two deals off Gumtree in total. And the first one I had to message so quickly, didn't even have time to film the phone call because other guys were just trying to swoop on that. And yeah, <laughs> from here on, I'm gonna actually record this tonight, the RTX 2080 Ti review. So it's, I think it's like almost 10 p.m. now. Still got the energy. 
health videos dropping in probably the next week. So stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed this part time, then be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comments section below what was your favorite deal of this month's episode. I'll also update the description below if I get any uh, hooks on those uh, offers that I made on Gumtree. And with that said, I love each and every one of you. And also finally got some merch finalized. It's in the process. Going to be updating that when it drops. So stay tuned. So much is in the works. And I'll catch you guys in the next tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.